It almost looks like a salt water tank the way it's grown yeah, over. Yeah, I know. That's what's so neat about it. And with the way the pumps are doing it, it's got it waving just like salt water does. Now, yeah, folks, do not try this at home. <laughs> We've got um, really huge purplish uh, convict cichlids. In a large environment, they get really big and pretty. Two mated pairs. We have baby convicts they're taken care of, but... um. We've also, we take our common guppies and our miscellaneous junk guppies and put them in here to just see if the environment might improve them. And because the, the adult convict cichlids were originally raised from babies with uh, guppies and things like that, they just see them as a part of their natural environment and they don't bother them. The only problem is of the two, the two pairs, one male has, has kind of mostly dominated both females and the other males kind of pissed about it so every one of the smaller babies that he can get a hold of he's been eating them i guess some sort of revenge thing with these fish i don't know they don't normally do that when they're family but um i guess the one male pissed off the other male so that male's like all right i'll get you you son of a bitch we got she's this she's is got the, eggs because she's turning her colors yeah here. i see this is a UV light, so this, um, what's it called, hornwort? Hornwort. It's a new plant we got, hornwort, should do very well. It's doing well in our other tanks. And um, all the algae growing in here, it just kind of gives it the undersea environment. And you've got the, um, the flowing current, so you got all this algae just kind of waving. Reminds me of the ocean a little bit. Just waving like coral reef stuff or whatever. It's pretty neat. Oh, okay. <laughs> and some of the uh, the common guppies we put in here ends up, uh, I don't know if the, the nutrients in the tank are somehow transforming them or what, but they're starting to be not so common after all. They're starting to come out with fancy features. So I guess if they survive in there, which so far they've been doing good for weeks, uh, once they get fancy enough, the, you know, anything that ends up being good breeding stock, we'll pull them out and we'll we use it. Try about three months. Huh? They've been in there for three months. Three months? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty strong then. And these guppies are mating with each other, so I guess any babies that end result are going to end up as food. Because <laughs> those convicts are just going to mail them, there's no question. Unless those babies get really good at hiding real quick. But uh, you can see how big and pretty and, and purple and, you know, that these convicts can get. Whereas normally they don't get like that. Because most people don't have them in a super huge environment. Now when they're this big, I mean, they'll go great with, um, um... Red Devil Cichlids and Oscars and even some of your larger variety of goldfish. Anything big and or aggressive that um, these guys can't really beat up on. Uh, these guys will go good. So I guess a, a community tank of a sort if you got very large fish and they're all large fish that can handle themselves. I got a snail in there now. Yeah, oh, they're doing their mating the thing here. We got them. And got their little nest. Right there in the corner, there's a, a snail, a different type of snail now. See where the white is down there? Yeah. See, see it? He came in with the hornwort. Yeah. Hey, maybe it's a baby of the regular type of snail, like the ones that Tony sells. I don't know. Could be. They'll it breed came. They'll breed as well as any of the others. I know, well. it came in with the hornwort, so So see. it might be a regular snail. That'd be kind of neat. Instead of those little junk snails. That I feed to the fish all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we got about 30 new guppies back in the front. Yeah. As you can, as you can see. Water these, changes. Yeah. These things, are, as they get bigger, um, their body shape becomes more exotic. And their fins become more exotic. And they go more from a from a gray into more of a neon purple with a bit of a bluish tint as they get bigger. So, um, as far as I know, these things can get as as big as um, just your your average size um, gold and a gold Oscar. 
seeing as the gold Oscars tend to be a bit smaller than the tiger Oscars, that's a good comparison. The tiger Oscars get like that. Oh, I know. The gold Oscars don't, though. I think they're a special human tampering. They're an inbreed, yeah. Yeah. So they only get a fraction of the size of the tiger Oscars. <laughs> yeah. They kicks her in the butt. <laughs> get over here, woman. <laughs> With this current, their ta their fins really look nice. Yeah. Everything's flowing. Where's the other female, though? She's with her eggs. Oh, she's over there. Yeah, she's with her eggs. She's in that hutch. That hutch I made 20 years ago. <laughs> Time flies. Look, oh, no, I found her. She'll pop out after the gu to chase the guppies off. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for her today. I'm like, where is she? And then I said, I spotted her. And so I scraped this all down so I could see her. As you can see, oh, I this is a up. pretty cool looking tank. A lot of yeah. action going on. It's here. coming. It's, it's moving, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's moving. There ain't no standstill about it. Well, you know, I, I, I never thought. Uh, Convicts were anything but boring until a couple of years ago. Well, they're action. Got to, got, got to, got to bring out their their full potential, their big size and their full colors and elaborateness, and experiment with uh, what species they can get along with or not. And you know, then you got things getting interesting. Yeah, I have about ten big males in there and one female. Oh Christ, you, that, that's a war. <laughs> You'd be asking for a <laughs> war. That would be a and water would boil. war. <laughs> you wouldn't need a heater in there. <laughs> that would be a war. <laughs> it's just amazing that they, they can get along with guppies, given how aggressive yeah, they're not trying to eat them at they all. normally are. They're but not trying to eat them at all. Oh, she's looking for a new nesting pot? There it is. Look, there's a little convict right yep. behind him. Yep. Go up and bite his tail. <laughs> yep. I'm getting some of the baby convicts on the camera. Huh? Alright, well, enough of that, I guess. www.pondscape.us.